इंटरपेडेंगुलर फोसा प्लस पोर्शन ऑफ सर्कल ऑफ विलेस सो दिस इज ऑप्टिक कायाजमा विच इज अ क्वाड्रिलेटरल प्लेट इट प्रोवाइड्स अटैचमेंट टू ऑप्टिक नर्व्स एंट्रोलेटरली एंड ऑप्टिक ट्रैक पोस्ट्रोलेटरली सो दिस इज ऑप्टिक कायाजमा एंड दीज टू आर ऑप्टिक ट्रैक्स सिमिलरली दिस इज ब्रेन स्टेम मिड ब्रेन पॉन्स एंड मेड्यूला एंड दिस टू आर द बेजिस पेडेंक्यूलाइ एंड दिस इज द अपर बॉर्डर ऑफ पॉन्स ओके सो लेट सी द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ इंटरपेडेंक्यूलर फोसा दिस इज टेरिटरी ऑफ इंटरपेडेंक्यूलर फोसा सो एंटीएल इट इज बाउंडेड बाय ऑप्टिक कायाजमा एंट्रोलेटरली बाय ऑप्टिक ट्रैक पोस्ट्रोलेटरली बाय बेजिस पेडेंक्यूलाइ and posteriorly by upper border of the pons so this is the outline and let's see the structures found within this fossa from before backward this is tuber cinereum and infundibulum part and parcel of hypothalamus particularly the infundibulum when it passes through diaphragma cell it is continuous with neurohypophysis posteriorly you can see two small sessile structures nodular structures these are mammillary bodies again part and parcel of hypothalamus and still behind there is a perforated substance it is termed as posterior perforated substance just because there is another one over here in relation to the optic tract this is anterior perforated substance now why it is called as perforated substance because the branches of posterior cerebral this is posterior cerebral artery which is formed by bifurcation of the basilar artery and this posterior cerebral artery will give central branches so multiple central branches will pierce the cerebral cortex to enter deep inside giving it as a perforated structure so it is termed as perforated substance and as it is oriented behind to this then it is termed as posterior perforated substance now let's see some of the portion of circle of willis all around this interpedangular fossa you will find arteries and these are the branches of internal carotid and fourth part of vertebral artery and they form a circle of villus around this interpedangular fossa particularly this circle of villus is found in subarachnoid space now in relation to this interpedangular fossa the subarachnoid space is expanded then it is termed as subarachnoid cistern expanded subarachnoid space is termed as subarachnoid cistern and here there is formation of interpedangular cistern within this cistern there lies the circle of villus again i am telling it is formed by branches of two internal carotids and two fourth part of vertebral arteries now these two are internal carotids and they give anterior cerebral arteries okay these two will get connected by anterior communicating branch similarly posteriorly this two fourth part of vertebral artery will join at lower border of the pons to form a single basilar artery which will lodge into a median sulcus found along the ventral surface of the pons so this is basilar artery which will divide or bifurcate in relation to the upper border of the pons into two posterior cerebral arteries and these two are posterior communicating arteries okay so this is how the circle of willis is formed i am repeating anteriorly it is formed by anterior communicating artery anterolaterally by these two anterior cerebral arteries laterally by these two internal carotid arteries posterolaterally by these two posterior communicating arteries and posteriorly by commencement of this posterior cerebral arteries from basilar artery so this is a circle of villus interpedangular fossa again i am repeating optic chiasma optic tract now they are very clear these are basis pedunculi and this is upper border of the pons tuber cinereum infundibulum mammillary bodies and posterior perforated substance so this is interpedangular fossa